pieces of advice. The Bournemouth International Centre feels like it's going to explode when the bass kicked in for his ring walk tune, Billum Smith. I felt like he was going to cut me in half. He sold this place out, and long may it continue. There goes the bell, the schedule for 12 or fewer in the cruiserweight division. Billum Smith in the solid black, black boots, socks, shorts, gloves. Wedding ring just tied onto the laces of his left boot. Something that he does a, a trick that he copied off George Groves, actually. Joe Jai is getting to work early here. He's in the gold with the white gloves, white boots. And what he'll look to do, Matt, is jab his way in exactly like he did there, get onto the inside exactly like he is now, and let his hands go. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, we said he'll expect a fast start from Joe Jai. And that's what we've seen so far. He's out quickly. He's trying to back Bill and Smith up, get on the inside and let his hands go. Billy Smith just dipping to the left. He's looking for the uppercut as well. He likes fighting on the inside, Billy Smith. He's got the height and the reach here that he could use if he wanted to, or most likely use it to get in close, to make that transition to where he is now. Tries to thump the right hand into the body there of Joe Jai, slips the jab and comes back with the right. But we knew that he wouldn't have to go looking for his man here, Billum Smith, and that's proving to be the case. And this, I think, is going to be entertaining. Yeah, looking to try and get that jab going. Joe Joe, you know, not a big cruiserweight, but he's got pretty quick hands. Billum Smith with that jab and then just bobs and weaves. Right hook there, just moved Joe Jai, he looks for the uppercut. I saw Joe Jai fight former European champion Matthias Masternak, he got stopped but he gave it an absolute crack before that happened, just leading off, climbing into a, a left hand there, Joe Jai. He was a good amateur too, boxer world championships, European games, European championships, didn't quite manage to make it to Rio, but there's no fear here from him, we didn't expect there to be, and there definitely isn't. No, he's a... Uh... Been exp very experienced as an amateur, travelled the world. You know, as you say, went to Germany as well. He's travelled, you know, had some good wins on the road. So he's definitely not overawed here. Good jab from Billy Smith. As he opens out to throw the right hand there, Billy Smith. Joe Jai came back with his right. Looks to try and sneak an uppercut through the middle. Nice left hook there from Billy Smith. Yeah, that's a good shot. tight guard, Joe Jai, just gives a little bit of ground there, he's compact, well put together, as Johnny was saying, on the night, not much in this opener, not much at all, damage, and what it does as well, that one-two left hook, is it takes him close into the pocket which is where he likes it left hand into the body there from Billum Smith and Joe Jai looks to climb into a steepling uppercut which doesn't quite land that's a quality uppercut on the inside there from Billum Smith and then lets that left hand go just kind of exploding out of that shell this is how he likes to do it there's that uppercut again lands it a couple of times yeah, I think with Jojo being short and small, he, you know, he's got to shorten up on the punches as well. Uh, Bill of Smith doesn't want to go too wide with him, that short left hook. And even on the inside, just, you know, don't wind the uppercuts up, just thread it through the middle, just snap that head up. Oh, good shot. And that from Jojo, and the legs went there for Bill of Smith, the knees definitely dipped, but he got them back under control pretty quickly. That was a lovely shot, just up over the top, and you've got to look out for them when you're the taller man and you're punching down those big winging roundhouses almost, and Joe Jai's going for it here, he feels that he's got Bill and Smith in a bit of trouble, back that, up towards the ropes, that right hand home, his leg stiffened, it buzzed him, he may have recovered from it now, but that definitely hurts him, well you could see the knees dip, he managed to get his legs, or seemed to get his legs back quite quickly, but he's looking for that right hand, there, Zhou Zhai, just looking to fling it up over the top in that pretty steep arc, and it collided perfectly with the left-hand side of Billum Smith's head. He looks for a right hand himself there, just over a minute remaining in 
in round two, but a little bit of a crisis here for Billum Smith in this second round. Jojai, as we saw on the ring walk, he's relishing this, he's confident. He knows what it's like to win on the road, and he's having a good, good round here. Yeah, and that really have spurred him on, the fact that he knows he can hurt him. He's recovered now, I think, but that, 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 that was a shot that buckled the leg, and that will have spurred Jojai on. He's done some good work in the 30 seconds or so before that Willem Smith too, landing some nice stiff joddering uppercuts there's that right hand again from Joe Giant I think that might have had an effect on Billum Smith as well into the final 30 seconds Billum Smith just looking to to lean on Joe Jai there and, and cover up lovely uppercut there from the Kosovan a little step away to his right hand side found the angle and this is good work he lets his hands go and Billum Smith just trying to have a little bit of a wrestle bring that greater physical size to bear push him back into the ropes and buy a little bit of time but this has been a big big round for the away corner yeah and a, and a, you know a mini crisis really for Billum Smith and you know what's going through his head now well, let's have a listen the side on the shoulder okay all right yeah. yeah there's that right hand over the top and he dipped okay he smiled a little bit of kidology there shaking his head that means it did hurt him you know and he backed off and backed off again and you know the shot nailed him with it he came straight over the top of that jab, didn't he? You mentioned it in an earlier fight with Dan Aziz. The taller fighter looks to punch down. The shorter fighter can come up over the top, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, caught lovely as well, right on the, the boy, the chin, and leg stiffened. He backed off quickly, and backed off again, and he could smell it. He, he sensed it, and he jumped on him. Oh, this quick, quick start. Lovely right hand from Billum Smith. Stepped into the centre of the ring through the jab and through the right hand off the back of it. But Joe Jai is more than happy to mix it. And again, he looks for that right hand, that smearing right hand. As he tries to back Billum Smith up, Billum Smith trying to just keep that guard intact. Now works down to the body. Catches Joe Jai standing a little bit upright there himself. You heard McGuigan say in between rounds that when you pull out with your, your chin high, you're pulling out a little bit high. That's where the problems starts you know I think Jojo is going to be dangerous while he's in the early rounds while he's still fresh because he's he's, he's, he's the quicker fighter he's got the, the faster hands so you know until Billy Smith gets the timing of that or maybe the sting goes out of Jojo a little bit he's going to be dangerous he's going to probably be quicker in the exchanges so Billy Smith just needs to not panic here and just just break him down steadily get that jab going steps onto the inside and looks to let that right hand go and there is that jab you can keep this on the outside throw that jab look for that one two and then throw that left to the body that's what the corner were asking for right into the rib cage there from Billum Smith was a, a good shot then just steps into that lead left hand planted that one nicely through the guard midway through round three Decent combination from Billum Smith, the right hand got through. Nothing has really discouraged Joja yet. It's early, as you've been saying, Matt, but he just continues to roll forward. The head might get rocked back, but he gathers himself and then just comes again. Yeah, I think in these earlier rounds, I think Billum Smith just got to try and you know, be patient, be calm, bang that jab in, soften him off, back a few rounds, knock the fight out of him a little bit. I wouldn't go, there's no point going into an exchange with a guy who's got quicker hands, not early on. Leading off with the left hook there, Billum Smith. He had the gloves up there, Joe Jai. There's that jab. He's used that well in this round. He's used it more in this round than he has in the previous two. Looking for that uppercut, just tucking up behind the shoulder. That's a nice right hand there from Billum Smith. The crowd enjoyed that one. It was a decent shot. There's our left hand on the inside too, leaning on, finds the uppercut, left hand to the body, it was a good shot there from Billum Smith. Some good work from him in the final 30, 40 seconds. Yeah, body shots are good from Billum Smith. I think his defences are better as well. Well, that was a decent round for the home fighter.
Got on the jab, got things right, more under right. control. There's a QR Sorry, code, no. give that a scan. Score the fight. Of round two, we described it as a, a mini crisis that second round. It was one because he was hurt by that right hand. There's absolutely no question about that, but he responded well in round three. He got onto that jab and he's looking for him to hook off that jab. And at home, you've got Zhou Zhai with a two round to one lead. I wouldn't argue with that. The first round could have gone either way. The second round was definitely his, and the third round, I think, was pretty clear to Willem Smith. Yeah. Couldn't argue with that scorecard, so you know it's. Uh, we expected that it'd start lively, uh, Jojo, but I think you know Billy Smith's just got to stay patient, just got to stay calm, don't get reckless, don't feel like you have to match him every point. You don't always have to get the point back when he catches you. Okay, he caught, take that. He, he, you know, he might get caught again, but it's a 12 round fight. You know, break him down slowly, don't get into exchanges while he's got the the speed you know the speed advantage on you just use your, your physical attributes use that reach use that jab soften him up well he did 12 rounds at a very high demanding tempo against Isaac Chamberlain in his last fight Billum Smith so he knows that he's got it in the tank trying to chop down with the right hand there Willem Smith, nice little short left on the inside, just caught Joe Jai, who continues to come forward, he keeps that high guard, looks to get close. Decent jab there from Willem Smith. I just feel like a little bit of the fizz, a bit of the pop has gone out of Joe Jai. Good right hand there from Billum Smith, and that just moved him a touch. He's getting on top of him a bit, leaning on every now and again. Right hand on the inside again, and, and Joe Jai, I think, is beginning to feel these. He's got to be careful, Billum Smith. There was that big smearing overhand right. You can't be lazy with that jab. If he shoots it, he's got to go out quick and come back quick. I just think Billum Smith doesn't need to get reckless. He doesn't need to get into exchanges. He can win this fight on the jab. You know, he's got the reach, he's got a good jab. He needs to be more active with the jab. He's just, he's, he's allowing Joe Jai in to, qu to close quarters too easily. He's had a decent 30 seconds there, Joe Jai, just as I was asking the question as to whether he was dipping a bit. That's good body work for Billum Smith, though. We had a good view of that as he just thundered the right and the left into the midriff of Joe Jai and then looks to get onto the uppercut. I think this round has taken a bit out of our visitor. A little bit of wind has gone out with the sails, I think. But again, he piles into a right hand by Billum Smith. So looks for the right of his own. Intense round, that one. European super middleweight champion. I can't translate. Yeah, still getting caught with some shots there, Billum Smith. And I think some unnecessary ones is... I think he could make this fight a lot easier if he was a bit more busy with the jab. This is what you've been asking for. So into the fifth, Chris Billum Smith in the black. Our man Joe Jai, the visitor in the gold. What is on the line here is a world title fight. Billum Smith's rankings are terrific with all of the sanctioning bodies. He's eyeing up any number of routes. Joe Jai is top 15 with the IBF and the WBO. He's making a very good fist of things so far. There's the jab that McGuigan has been asking for. And Billum Smith that time gave a bit of ground and just jabbed on the retreat rather than stand in and meet Joe Jai. You know, there'll, there'll come a time and a place in the fight where, yeah, the, when, when you've already softened him up and you've kind of knocked the fight out of him, where you can go in and start going for the mid-range shots. But he doesn't need to get involved in exchanges with a guy with faster hands this early on in the fight while he's still full of it. Just soften him up, break him down with the straight, long, straight shots. Decent cuffing right hand on the inside there from Willem Smith. Looking for the uppercut, then just pushes Zhou Zhai off, looking to establish a little bit of space. 
Long right hand there from Jojo. I believe Smith, though, I think, managed to ride that one fairly effectively. And there's a left to the body, and then steps in looking for that big uppercut. Oh, good up and got the uppercut again there from Billy Smith. Nice left hand as well. Oh, big shot. Feels a huge uppercut. Because they need to take care of Jojai. He went down hard there. It was all started by the uppercut. Then he climbed into a left hook. And he just went down in instalments there, really, Jojai. And that's when you know that someone is really hurt straight onto his back. They've just got him up on his haunches now as Ian Johnson attends to that damage above the left eye of Chris Phillip Smith. And they'll just need to get all the care and attention that they can over to Joe Jai. I was on oh, Joe Jai safely back on his feet. Let's have a look at how it all ended. Starting with the uppercut. Yeah. Great uppercut, then I think it was a double left hook, head, body, right hook, right uppercut, and uh, those were power shots. Yeah, there's the uppercut, left hook that started it, there's the double left hook, then combination, right hook, and then this right hook here, almost like a right hook, come right uppercut. And it just, boom, knocks him flat on his back, I think he was knocked out before he hit the deck. I'll give Billum Smith some credit for not swinging again there to be honest, up. because he could have. He really could have. I described him as going down in instalments there, Joe Jai, and, and that's exactly what happened. And it's often what you see with, with a good, clean knockout like, like we saw there. OK, let's get the final announcement from Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kieran McCann calls his stop to this contest at one minute... 52 seconds of the fifth round. Declaring your winner by knockout, Chris Billam Smith. Well, Chris Billam Smith has given these Bournemouth fans what they came to see. A slightly subdued look on his face, but that was short, that was sweet, and in the end, that was brutal. We'll be hearing from the man himself in just a couple of minutes.